All right, yo, what's up? Ricky Powell, the Lazy Hustler for Frank 151. I am privileged to be hanging on a bench at the Rucker Playground with two living legends. We love the Rucker family. We love the individual Rucker for beginning Rucker. But the fact of the matter and the truth of the matter is, 1965 began a different era of Rucker. Everybody played a tough guy to shoot for. Bob McCullough was the commissioner. He was responsible single-handedly for the history and the legacy of Rucker Park being what it is today, for Rucker being the air I played, the mecca of basketball. It's all on him, the history and everything else. You know what Rucker is in people's minds when it comes to basketball, but you never ever hear anybody say how it relates to Bob McCullough, the commission. The guy who made everything happen is sitting right here. Pee Wee came to the Rucker and was the highest score in the Rucker, primarily because I challenged him. And to bring him up, I put him on the Rucker Pro team with Willis Reed, MVP Oof. in the NBA. What? And Freddie Crawford, Nate Bowman, Oops. Emmett Bryant that left the Knicks and went to the Boston Celtics championship team. Wait, I got one question. You were a teenager and you're playing on this team with Willis Reed and you're still a teenager? Yeah, yeah, but T, oh understand God. this here. The age didn't matter, it was your heart. I hear that. Because Rucker was a proving ground. You came up there to prove your work. You can't say one player is greater than another player because basketball never reinvents itself in the same form. Greatness is greatness. I would never say I was better than other great players at Rucker. That's like me saying I was better than Jerry Serving because I led the league in scoring Jerry's play. No, I love the fact that everybody loved Dr. Wade play. Mm -hmm. You understand know what I'm saying? We talk about Emmett Bryant. I was in prison and, and scored 100 points in one game in the semi-pro league and then scored 130 points in the next game. And Emmett Bryant sent me a letter for me to go to the Seattle Supersonics. I got the letter now that reads, I want you to come to Seattle to teach our point guard, sick watch and another player, <laughs> what being a real point guard is. That is the essence of what Rucker was about. See, we had coaches that were so great at coaching that we knew the game from the neck up when we hit Rucker. So when we got the Rucker and played against the pros all day, they were pros and had been accepted in, in, in the highest echelon of basketball in the NBA. We still understood the game a lot better than most of them did from the neck up. I have to ask the question. How, how important or how integral are the crowd, the crowd of Rucker? What's the crowd in Rucker to you mean? Back then, the crowd was my six man. Woo! Because the crowd Love was that. the most educated group of people that I've ever seen in my life at saw basketball. You couldn't trick the crowd, you couldn't fool the crowd. Either you were the genuine article or you got booed. The truth is embedded in people's minds. Guys used to tell me they used to be in foxholes, talking about the game between Pee Wee Kirkland and Dr. J and Charlie Scott. And I mean, it was, it was those kind of memories. I remember when I played in Rucker. I remember guys telling me they came to Rucker and when they left Rucker, they didn't know what it caused for. Because people left Rucker mesmerized. I hate to say it, one guy even sat there watching the game and went to the bathroom. <laughs> I remember another guy, I crossed somebody, fell out the tree. Remember that? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, the stories in Rucker was phenomenal. 